from Spartans to Halo Headlines for the week of March 15th to 21st, part of Podcast Evolved, your home for Halo. I am your host, Aaron, and with me today, we've got Tom. Hello! So, we're bringing you a little Halo Headlines for this week, but before we get started, we would like to take a quick minute to shout out to all of our patrons and thank you for your continued support. You guys have been awesome. You continue to keep the lights on and allow us to do good things. We will have future updates about good things we are spending your money on, so please stay tuned for that. Like we said, thank you very much. It's been great. We love you all. You guys are freaking awesome. Yes. If you would like to get in on the Patreon and become a member, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash Halo Podcast Evolved, and you can learn more about all of the rewards and perks we offer to patrons, including soundtracks. Right. We have a couple of small bits of news this week. It's kind of been one of those weeks where we have one big thing and two small things. We're going to dive in with the first bit of news we have this week, which is brought to us by Tom. Tom, what have we got? So Mega Constructs finally revealed a set that they have been hyping up in the community for some time. They got a few different content creators, including us at the Builds World Blocks team, involved in launching this product through various teasers on socials and then eventually they revealed that it is a 20 figure pack for the 20th anniversary of halo so it's designed to almost sort of say farewell to the classic games as we move towards product lines which are going to be more focused on halo infinite so it collates a lot of different characters from across the broad spectrum of the Halo storytelling universe to really bring fans a diverse mixture of characters. The most interesting things to note from the perspective of Mega Constructs collectors in particular is that this is the first time that Mega Constructs have released Shipmaster, so Urtus Fadam, also the first time that they have done a micro-action figure of Miranda Keys, here in her Halo 2 anniversary apparel. Also the first time that they have done the Prophet of Regret. And I nearly said Mercy there, but I'm fairly sure this one's Regret. I'm sure Matt will tell me if I've got it wrong though. (laughs) So really, really cool pack. It's going to retail for £49.99. There's no talk about where it will be available just yet. We know that it's going to be a limited edition item most likely. I believe that the Halo Gear team did actually use the phrase limited edition. So yeah, just waiting to see where it will be, where it will release, and how we can get our hands on it. But just to kind of very, very quickly run through the characters, I'm actually going to pull up a photo quickly because I'm nice and prepared, as always. That's all right. I'm not looking at the Instagram as we speak. (laughs) A quick look at it here. We get a purple version of the micro-action figure of Cortana, which we've never got before. We get Guilty Spark. We get Avery Johnson in his Combat Evolve gear. Obviously, Miranda Keys, Shipmaster, Sessa Rethemi. This is the second release of him. The Prophet. You get ODST Mickey, the only time he's ever been widely available, as the last time he was released was in a set that was over £200, uh, the NMPD Pelican. You also get Only Agent Dare, you get Spartan Carter, you get Emil, Linda, Chief in his Halo 5 armour, Jerome, you get a Golden Infinite Chief, Golden Cortana, Golden Spartan Lock, Golden Arbiter, Golden Atriox, and the cherry on top is a micro-action figure of Frank O'Connor's character, Mr. Chief, which is just, it's crazy to have like a little micro-action figure of that. So yeah, we just want to say a huge thanks to Mega Constructs. The Builds with Blocks crew got to pre-record an exclusive breakdown. The team were kind enough to trust us with all of the photos of the set ahead of time. So we recorded that exclusive breakdown, released it on launch day. And I think on YouTube now it's closing in on 5,000 views. So it's done very, very nicely. So yeah, awesome pack. Can't wait to get it in hand. And I'm sure you'll see video content on it as soon as we can get it. Excuse us. You guys are coming up in the world. 
I'm like so out of breath out after that. <laughs> it's all right. You got through it all and you didn't have to re-record anything. So, no, it's pretty cool. I was looking at the photos when you put them up. Like, it's a nice big set. It's not... Yeah. People will know I'm not a, really a Mega Bloks person, but it's the kind of thing where you're just like, here you go. You have a load of characters. You can work away. Yeah. I only ever think of it from like my niece and nephew's point of view, never collectors. It's like here, you only have two sets. Have the like, there's loads of fucking characters option here and work away. I think that's the nice thing. Like if if you're somebody who hasn't collected it, then a lot of these characters have come out in various forms in the past. So for context, Carter's a really rare figure. Linda only ever came in one pack beforehand. Jerome was a single card back figure. It's really hard to get on the aftermarket. So this is like a nice pack for people who might not have been aggressively collecting, like you say, but actually just want to get a bunch of named characters in one package. And I will say I've just noticed that the box art on it as well is a huge graphic of Zeta Halo, which is really freaking cool. I'd imagine a lot of these are going to live in their boxes forevermore. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should order one and just open it. You need it, Aaron. Tear the box from one side to the other on a video and just, like, allow people to weep. Someone will come from it. Lose us half of our builds with Blocks audience. <laughs> oh, no, they'll be totally fine with it. But it's cool. It, uh, it's nice to see stuff come out like that where yeah. like people get a chance to dive into it. It is kind of, uh, I was thinking just while you were talking about it, it's like, it's a very sort of buffet option of Mega Bloks stuff. It's just like, here's a spread of a little bit of everything. Yeah, absolutely. And it's not anything crazy giant. It's not like a 20th anniversary Infinity or Pillar of Autumn that's 300 quid and six people are going to own them forevermore. Well, it's funny you say that, because I do actually have the Mega Constructs Infinity on my right-hand side right now. <laughs> it's one of my regrets in life that I didn't just pull the trigger and order one of those. I'm sure someday I can get uh, completely fleeced by an aftermarket seller, so it'll be <laughs> totally fine. Right, going on from that, we have another item for sale, which I'm thrilled about, because <laughs> it makes me so angry. You posted this just before we started recording and we're throwing it in. So this is leading on from Mega or from Mega Blocks from 343's Moa Burger Pringles. So we now have a Moa Burger t-shirt for sale. Yeah. And the t-shirt says it has a picture of a Moa head on it and it says have some Moa burgers. But it doesn't say have Samoa burgers, does it, Aaron? It says have Samoa. <laughs> this makes me so angry. I don't like it. It's playing words. I like it. It's like it's the kind of thing I think we don't get often from Halo. I mean, I've I've got to say the gear team have done a really cool job of doing some like in universe kind of merchandise. So I've got there, I think it's like called the UNSC Command t-shirt or something, and it has the infinite logo on one shoulder, and then like just some UNSC text on it and UNSC going down the spine, and that's kind of like really in-universe, quite grounded. So I feel like this is just something really creative, and actually I like how bright and vibrant it is. How often do you get bright and vibrant stuff from Halo? Usually it's all just aliens murdering hundreds of civilians and whatnot. I'm still not over what this says, so I just... If you're interested in getting yourself Smoa Burger t-shirts, you can go... It's not on 343's page, it's on the Xbox Gear Shop. Yeah. If you've ever been on it, it is where they sell a lot of... I believe it's where they sell the uh, rather like coveted Xbox onesie occasionally. Yes, and actually, I am going to plug quickly, the next episode of Builds with Blocks, which may very well be out at the time that this goes live, because it should be out on Tuesday, is a interview with John Friend, who is the head of Halo Consumer Products. So he talks quite a bit about the gear store and the behind the scenes processes of that as well. Very nice. Something for everyone to look forward to. Yeah. Speaking of Xbox staff, the last little bit of Halo-adjacent news we have for this week 
is we got another 343 employee spotlight. And this employee spotlight focuses on Nina Marine. She is the program manager for the community team. So we've got a nice long spotlight. You can go and have a little read and get to know another face of 343. There have been a few others so far, including one with our uh, very well-known Jeff. We love you, Jeff. Yeah, you can dive into it and see what's involved as a program manager and stuff with the community team. It's interesting to get a little insight every now and again into like the workings behind the scenes because I feel like you kind of know of 343 as an entity sometimes and apart from like some of the higher ups, you don't always have a face to put to anything so it's like good to see these people and read a little bit about them so if you want go over and you can have a look at that as well and i think that's kind of our news for this week it's been a fairly light week mega blocks was our biggest news of course the minute we publish this something massive will drop as it's always the way <laughs> there'll actually be a new halo infinite gameplay demo publishing once we publish this <laughs> It usually happens the second we I finish editing this, something will come up. So we'll wait and see what that is. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for joining us this week and listening to the Halo Headlines. If you enjoyed this episode and you were unaware of who we are, you can go and check out our website. It's halopodcast.com or halopodcastevolve.com. And you can find links to all of our other shows. We've got Podcast Evolve, Mission Debrief, Halo Book Club, and Bills with Blocks. Once again, special shout out to all of our patrons. Thank you very much for supporting us. You make everything we do possible. Like I said, if you get a chance, go over to patreon.com forward slash Halo Podcast Evolved and you can learn more about signing up for us today. And with that, I have been your host, Aaron. And until next time, Evolved. Evolved. Evolved.